Lesson 22 homework. Number one, solve for the unknown. Rewrite each phrase as a multiplication sentence. Circle the scaling factor and put a box around the number of meters. So, letter A, one third as long as six meters. So the scaling factor, that would be what we are gonna be multiplying by is one third, because we're gonna make it one third as long as six meters. So the put a box around the number of meters, so six meters. So what we have is one third times six would be equal to, well, we can write it out as one times six over three, or six thirds, which is equal to two, so two meters. B, six times as long as one third meter. So this time the scaling factor is six, and oh, we're circling that, is six, and we're putting a box around the number of meters, one third. So we have six times one third, which would be six times one over three, or six thirds, which is equal to two. Number two. Draw a tape diagram to model each situation in problem one and describe what happened to the number of meters when it was multiplied by the scaling factor. So for A, what we had was one third times six. So if I draw my tape diagram, I know that the entire thing is equal to six and I'm going to split it into thirds. So again, this one is one third times six. So the whole thing is six. I'm gonna split it into thirds. And then if I know that the whole thing is six, then each piece, if I split it into thirds, is worth two. And we have one of the thirds, so we're just taking this piece right here. So it's equal to two. Part B, where we have six times one third. Draw my tape diagram. So we have six groups of one thirds. So I'm going to break this into six pieces. And each one is worth a third. So then in total, I have six, group, six one thirds, which is equal to six thirds or two. So either way, we're getting two. It's just two different ways to do it. So we can say it wants us to then describe what happened to the number of meters. I'm gonna say that the scaling factor is less than one. So the number of meters decreased. So here the scaling factor is less than one. So the number of meters are decreasing because we're multiplying by a number that is less than one. Number three, fill in the blank with a numerator or denominator to make the number sentence true. So A, we have five times how many thirds would be less than five. So we wanna make this less than five and we're already multiplying by five. So this needs to be anything less than three because if we put three thirds here, then it would be equal to five, but we want something that is greater than five. So we're gonna put here anything that is greater than three. So you could put four thirds, you could put five thirds, you could put six thirds, anything greater than three. You could put a hundred thirds. As long as this digit right here, your numerator is greater than three, our answer will be greater than five. Part B, six with a some denominator times 12 is less than 12. So now we're trying to make this 12 smaller. So that means that the denominator 
could be something like six sevenths. As long as this fraction is less than one, then this will end up being less than 12. So you could have six sevenths, you could have six eighths, you could have six ninths. It just needs to be something that is six or greater. You could not put six fifths because that's greater than one. So if we multiply something greater than one by 12, it's gonna be greater than 12, not less than 12. And C, four times how many fifths is equal to four? So here we want it to be equal, which means that we need this, four times what equals four? Well, four times one equals four, and the way to make something fifths into one is to make it five fifths. So that has to be five fifths. No other choice there. Make that easier to read. Number four, look at the inequalities in each box. Choose a single fraction to write in all three blanks that would make all three number sentences true. Explain how you know. So we're gonna pick one fraction to put in all of these different blanks. So we want all of these to be greater than what they started with. So it's five thirds and five thirds on this last one, four and four and two thirds and two thirds. And we want it to be, this to be greater than two thirds. So in order to make that greater than two thirds, we can put in anything that's greater than one. So if we put in one, they would all be equal to. So we don't wanna put in one, but you could put in, let's see, it wants us to choose a fraction. So I'm gonna choose, uh, could be anything, five thirds. So two thirds times five thirds would be greater than two thirds. Four times five thirds is gonna be greater than four. And five thirds times oh, five thirds is gonna be greater than five thirds. So you could have chosen any fraction that's greater than one. So explain how we know. We could say multiplying by a fraction greater than one will make the product larger than the other factor. So basically multiplying by a fraction that's greater than one or five thirds or any other fraction that's greater than one will make the product larger than this factor. Part B, now it wants us to make it less than. So here we're making it less than. So in order to make the product less than the other factor, what we need to do is multiply by any fraction that is less than one. So it wants us to pick the same one for each one. I'm gonna pick one fourth, because one fourth is less than one. You can pick anything. You could pick two thirds, you could pick three fifths, you could put pick 10 twelfths, anything as long as it's less than one. And our explanation, we could say multiplying by a fraction, this time less than one, will make the product smaller than the other factor. Number five, write a number in the blank that will make the number sentence true. Three times something is less than one. So we want this to be less than one. So we need to think of things that we can multiply three by that would get it to be less than one. If I multiplied it by, let's see, three times one third, that would be equal to one, but we want it to be less than one. So in order to make it less than one, we need to pick something that is smaller than one third. So I'm gonna say must be smaller than 
one third because we want it to be less than one. So I'm gonna pick one fourth. So if you pick any fraction that's less than one third, you're gonna get something that's less than one. Explain how multiplying by a whole number can result in a product less than one. So let's just give some examples because we've already talked about that. We pretty much gave that answer right there, how it can get a product less than one. So let's just give some examples. Um, I'm gonna say like three times one fourth would be equal to three times one over four, which is three fourths. So there, multiplying by a whole number, three, we got a product less than one. So three fourths is less than three. And then let's do another one. So two times one third, would be equal to two times one over three, or two thirds. And two thirds is less than two. So there are just some examples proving that it does work. And if you want to explain again, you can write something similar to what we wrote up here for uh, number four. Number six, in a sketch, a fountain is drawn one fourth yard tall. The actual fountain will be 68 times as tall. How tall will the fountain be? So our scaling factor is 68 times. So we have 68 times 1 fourth of a yard. So we would have 68 times 1 over 4, or 68 fourths. And if we divide that out, 68 divided by 4, 4 goes into 6 one time. 1 times 4 is 4. We subtract, we get 2, bring down the 8, 4 goes into 28, 7 times, 7 times 4 is 28, subtract, there's nothing to bring down, so we get 17, and it's yards. So the actual fountain will be 17 yards tall. Number 7. In blueprints, an architect's firm drew everything 1 24th of the actual size. So 1 24th is the scaling size here. The windows will actually me measure 4 feet by 6 feet and doors will measure 12 feet by 8 feet. What are the dimensions of the windows and the doors in the drawing? So let's start with the windows. So they are 4 by 6. So let's figure out what the scaling factor of 1 24th times 4 and 1 24th times six. So here we would get one times four divided by 24, or four 24ths. Four 24ths, if we can divide both four and 24 by four, so four divided by four is one, 24 divided by four is six. So we would have one sixth and one times six divided by 24 or 6 24ths. Again, we can divide both 6 and 24 by 6. So if I divide by 6 6 I get 1 4th. So the windows would be 1 6th by 1 4th. One sixth foot by 1 4th foot for windows. And then Let's do the doors. They were 12 by 8. So if I have 1 24th times 12 and 1 24th times 8, I get 12 24ths. And 12 24ths is equal to 1 half and 8 24ths which would be equal to, I can divide both 8 and 24 by 8, so that would be equal to 1 third. So we have half a foot by 1 third foot for the doors.